Hi, I'm Chris Bryce from superservice.com. Today we're going to talk about how to reset a router back to the factory default settings. There's a couple of different ways to do this. We'll go through the simplest way first, which you'll find on most routers. Most routers out there will have a small reset button somewhere on the unit, either on the bottom or the back of the machine. This is something that you may be able to press by hand, but is usually something you'll have to access with either a pen or a paper clip. You simply hold this reset button in for 30 seconds, and after 30 seconds, it resets the router back to factory default settings, including usernames and passwords and everything. All the settings get set back. The other way to accomplish this, if you haven't lost your username or password, is to connect to the router using its web-based interface. There's usually a website that you can go to, or a web page that you can go to, on your computer that will access the router. This is either a, an IP address, such as 192.168.1.1, which is the common address for routers, or, for instance, on Netgear products, would be routerlogin.net. When you access this web page, one of the options on that page will be to reset the unit to factory default settings. You can access it that way, or again, by using the reset button on the back or bottom of the system. That's the best way to reset your router back to its factory default settings.